All right, this is number 30, okay, um, in PACE 1129 of chemistry. Now, I really hope that you already tried to do this one, okay? And uh, I'm going to just uh, walk through the steps here and see if we can uh, clarify a few things that might be confusing. And uh, I'm, tr I'm going to try not to go all the way to the end and let you finish it yourself, okay? But uh, let's walk through here. Let's fix it. First of all, the first step is to write in the oxidation numbers. Actually, the first step was to write the equation. And um, lithium hydroxide, hydroxide is negative one, lithium is positive one, so I only need one of each, okay? Uh, so we, these are elements, so these are zeros, okay? Um, oxygen is always negative two, hydrogen is positive one, but I do have two of them. And then over here, lithium is positive one, oxygen is negative two, hydrogen is positive one. All right. Um, so the oxygen doesn't change, and what does change? Let's see here. Lithium, oh, lithium changes. It goes from zero to positive one. So let's think about this again. Would that be the oxidation or the reduction to go from zero to positive one? Is it gaining or losing electrons? Well, if it was balanced to start with at zero, we have the same number of electrons as protons, and then we end up having more protons, so it's positively charged, that means we gave up an electron. So that's the definition of oxidation. So let's write down the oxidation is Li zero becomes Li positive one plus one negative electron. All right, uh, the reduction is <clears throat> the hydrogen goes from positive one, oops, positive one goes up here, okay, we're going to end up with H being neutral, which means I need to add two electrons. So an electron gets added to each hydrogen in order to turn it from being positive to being neutral. All right. Do you follow that so far? Now, let's we look at the number of electrons. Are they the same? No. The number of electrons being transferred here is one electron. Over here we have two electrons. So now the next step is we need to change the coefficients on this in order to have the same number, two electrons being given off on the product side, two electrons on the um, reactant side. All right, so now this redox equation should work. Let me look at my cheat sheet, make sure I'm not forgetting anything or making a boo-boo like I did last time. All right. <clears throat> so let's, um, let's map these to the elements, okay? And this H2 is this one, and this is this. So it looks like the coefficients we're changing are the 2Li plus H2O yields 2LiOH plus H2. We did not have to change the coefficients on uh, these two. Okay. So, so far so good. And then the last step is to compare the coefficients and see if everything balances. Let's see, we have two lithium, we have two lithium. How many total oxygen do we have? Oops, we have two on this side because of this coefficient, but only one here. On this side, we have a total of four hydrogen, okay? 
and only two on this side. So I'm going to let you finish it. You know how to do this, okay? You're going to change the coefficients here and think through whether you have to change that one. <clears throat> and then that should balance the equation. So this is a, um, a, it's a process of going deeper and figuring out where are the electrons coming from, where are the electrons going to, and accounting for all of them to make sure we're not just making up a shortcut to balance it that doesn't take into account all of the electrons. Um, <clears throat> and I guess it helps us understand what's happening. You understand? <laughs> so the electrons are being, uh, being transferred. So let's, let's memorize this again. Oxidation means we're losing electrons. Reduction means the opposite. Reduction means gaining electrons. All right. Um, I need to review the next step, which is the ion electron method. So I'm going to study that a little bit more myself here, because that's a little different than this method. And then uh, we'll try to go do a video to help get you through problem number 31. And then that should be the toughest thing. It'll get you all the way up to the checkup. And... Uh, there's a lot of blanks to fill in, but we don't have any math problems like this to solve. Uh, mainly just content to, to memorize, get a study guide made, okay? So I will uh, work on a video shortly here for problem 31.